there, Dr. Andrea Shinowski from Freedom Chiropractic and Holistic Health in the Peoria Metro Center and our YouTube channel, Health and Horsepower. This week, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about chiropractic and jaw pain and clicking. So really when it comes down to it, we need to understand that your jaw is a musculoskeletal joint. That means it is involved with muscles, ligaments, and bones. And when we look at the jaw, normally when we open and close our jaw, the top of our mouth is fixed to our skull and does not move. The lower jaw actually opens downward and then glides across the bone with the help of a cartilage disc to allow us to open our jaw fully. So if we have issues where the bones of our skull are shifted or if we have muscle or ligament tension or sometimes adhesions in the ligaments and the jaw is not opening the same on both sides at the same time and moving properly, that can cause issues where we can hear clicking, popping, snapping if those muscles and ligaments or the cartilage is hitting improperly. We can also have issues where muscle tension does not allow our jaw to open properly on both sides. So it's really important to understand that we need alignment not only of our jaw, but also our upper neck. The bones in your upper neck actually those nerves go to the muscles in your face, those nerves go to the muscles in your upper neck. And if your first bone in your spine is shifted, that can actually press against and cause the jaw to shift forward on that side. So when it comes to chiropractic care, we need to make sure that your skull and the sutures and the bones of your skull are aligned properly and moving how they're supposed to so that the jaw can shift and move how it's designed to we also need to make sure that the upper neck is not interfering with jaw motion as well. So spinal alignment is very important for jaw health. Another thing is when we have misalignments of the bones of our skull, of our jaw, or of our upper neck, we can actually use gentle chiropractic care in our office to realign and restore motion to those joints. In addition to that, we also can do scar tissue release and massage to loosen up muscles that are tight or adhesions in the jaw. And then I also take it one step further and sometimes we'll work with your dentist um, or even a TMJ specialist to make sure that we have an appliance to keep the jaw aligned properly so that those ligaments and muscles can heal. But in some cases, in most cases I will say, I also give homework exercises. We want to train the muscles of your jaw to open and actually be relaxed so that they can open evenly. And then we typically will go through more of a physical therapy program where we teach those muscles and strengthen those muscles, teaching them how to work together properly and also how to make sure they're strong enough so that they can make sure your jaw is working properly. So when you're chewing, when you're talking, even if it's for a long period of time, your muscles can sustain that. Another thing is um, really when it comes down to it, when we're doing more of a holistic conservative care approach in our office, we're not using medications. We're not using any invasive surgeries to help with jaw pain. We are trying to avoid those medications, avoid those uh, intensive and invasive surgeries as much as possible to see if we can restore jaw motion and function without needing those. Um, we have had quite a few success stories in our office. We've had patients that have been referred by dentists as well as TMJ specialists to our office and we work together uh, with our other provider to make sure that we are getting the jaw moving, make sure we are getting the ligaments and muscles loose so that the jaw can move freely and then we also do exercises to make sure that we are retraining those muscles so they can support and restore and help the jaw move exactly how it's supposed to. Uh, we have one patient that basically came to our office. She had been having issues with lockjaw where the jaw would basically close shut. She could barely open her mouth very wide. She was having issues with chewing. She was having issues where the muscles would fatigue and she'd have pain if she talked a while. We were able to do a combination of care in our office, like I mentioned before, and within a few weeks, she noticed that she was able to open her jaw fully. She was able to chew steak again. She noticed that, hey, I haven't been able to eat steak in a very long time because I couldn't withstand the chewing required to chew that enough to swallow it, and she was so excited. She was able to have steak. She was able to start eating nuts and things like that that were a little bit chewier because she was able to do that again. And uh, shortly after that, after we got things uh, back to normal, she's been able to continue that for quite a while. We've also had some patients that had clicking and headaches from the jaw being misaligned. We've been able to get that jaw motion working again, and they very rarely have headaches anymore. So if you want more information, make sure to give our office a call.